The shot out windows in this black Toyota Camry tell the story of how it all ended. They started shooting a vehicle and the guy died. That guy was originally pulled over just before 2.30 a.m. in Wheatland for going 90 miles per hour. He tried to run from police before stopping. It blacked out its headlights um, and did eventually yield initially to the Wheatland PD officer. Upon contact of the, the driver, um, a uh, strong odor of alcohol um, emitted from the vehicle. Um, he did ID himself to the officer, but at that time became um, uncooperative. The guy took off in his car. Officers chased him down and set up spike strips on Highway 65 and 40 Mile Road. The car ran them over, but it didn't stop the vehicle. A second set of spike strips were set up at 6th and East Streets in downtown Marysville, where the vehicle finally came to a stop. Paul Beard saw it all come to an end. There's four six cops chasing it. After the driver refused to surrender and get out of the car, a sheriff's canine was deployed, but the driver pulled out a gun. The guys shot the canine in the neck and now he's in the hospital. Law enforcement then opened fire on the driver and killed the man. East Street was blocked off from 5th to 7th Street for more than 11 hours. East Street was reopened at about 12.15. The sheriff canine was shot in the neck. The bullet came out the other side. We are told that he is recovering at a local veterinarian hospital and is expected to survive. In Marysville, Walter McCullough, KCRA 3 News.